The story of Meadow Lane is really interesting. Today, its northern end is relatively quiet, but in the not too distant past, it was incredibly busy with traffic moving towards and away from Leeds Bridge. There was once a large market here, an important Methodist chapel, a large church, and many houses, pubs, and shops. It was also busy with industry. The southerly section of the road is still a busy thoroughfare, with vehicles moving in one direction towards the south of Leeds and the motorways that serve the city. But all the old buildings have gone. This video tells the story of Meadow Lane. Meadow Lane begins at the junction with Water Lane, Bridge End, Hunslet Road and Dock Street, close to the southern side of Leeds Bridge. In the middle there is a major junction with Great Wilson Street. The southern end joins Dewsbury Road and Meadow Road, although it becomes a little lost in the number of lanes that link together, connecting with the motorway network. At first, Meadow Lane was just as its name describes, a lane passing through fields and meadows, south of the River Eyre, with a ford and later a bridge providing a crossing and connection to the settlement of Leeds, which had begun life at Kergate. As Leeds expanded, it developed mainly north of the river, which acted as a natural boundary. However, as the city commenced its incredible growth, people went in search of new land for building, and Meadow Lane became increasingly developed. During the late 18th and early 19th centuries, the rapid urban growth was accompanied by an increase in membership of the Methodist Church in Leeds. Wesley Chapel was constructed on Meadow Lane in 1815 at a cost of £7,000 with seating for 1,265 people. It became one of four main pulpits for circuit ministry in Leeds, the others being Boggard House, which was the first Methodist chapel in the city on Quarry Hill. There was also Albion Street Chapel, later replaced by Oxford Place Chapel in 1835, and Brunswick Chapel on Wade Lane. Wesley Chapel was part of an evangelical mission to convert the people of Holbeck, amid growing concerns about the health and well-being of the growing urban classes. A strong temperance movement developed to the south of Leeds Bridge, although one minister at the Wesley Chapel complained that there were so many public houses in the area, it seemed impossible to conquer the curse of drink. Sadly, no evidence of the chapel exists on Meadow Lane today. In fact, after a long time standing empty, the site is being developed as a walkway to reach the new footbridge installed over the River Eyre. The aim is to improve connectivity with the established centre of Leeds and new developments around Eyre Park. At the start of the 19th century, the Church of England was facing a number of problems and challenges. The population of Britain had grown and it had redistributed, tending to concentrate in urban centres like Leeds. Meanwhile, the organisation of the Church of England had not been modified to reflect this change, leading to a mismatch between the population and the pastoral services provided by the Church. Christ Church on Meadow Lane was one of over 600 new churches built across the country, thanks to a £1 million grant for their construction. You'll notice that when this map was drawn in 1831, Great Wilson Street did not exist. Also, there was still a good deal of open land south of the river. Known as Million Act churches, Waterloo churches and Commissioners churches, in some cases, the commissioners provided the full cost of the new church. In others, they provided a grant and the balance was raised locally. Christ Church on Meadow Lane received the full grant and was constructed between 1823 and 1826 of Bramley Fall Stone. Later, in the Victorian period, Great Wilson Street was constructed leaving Christ Church on the corner of the junction. 
There is no clue to its existence today at the corner of Meadow Lane and Great Wilson Street. Christ Church was an imposing feature on Meadow Lane for almost 150 years before its demolition in 1972. This view, taken in 1937, shows the church and shops that extended along Meadow Lane towards Dewsbury Road and Meadow Road. On the opposite corner from Christ Church is the Meadow Lane Police Station. All of the buildings in the photograph have gone. Meadow Lane and Great Wilson Street were widened as Leeds worked towards its goal of becoming the motorway city of the 70s. The long terraces of shops and businesses were replaced with offices and industrial units providing essential jobs and services to the people in the city and bringing derelict tracts of land back into use. Like many other places in Britain during the Victorian period, Leeds experienced a big increase in crime. Offences such as stealing, drunkenness and fighting were rising dramatically and something had to be done about it. The Leeds City Police Force was formed in 1836. The first police station opened on Mill Street in 1850 and soon others followed across the city, including one at the southerly junction of Hunslet Lane and Hunslet Road. Meadow Lane Police Station, seen here, opened in 1907 to replace the Hunslet Road Police Station with bigger premises. The police station was used as a divisional headquarters until 1958. Later it was repurposed for other uses, but eventually it went the way of other older buildings and was demolished. The site is now a traffic island, and behind that, three lanes carry vehicles to join Meadow Lane and head off towards the motorways and south of the city. As Leeds grew, so did the need to provide goods to the people and businesses of the city. Land off Meadow Lane that had been used as a coal stave provided space for a new market, the South Market, designed by R. D. Chantrell in 1823. Chantrell is best known for designing Leeds Minster. His plan for the market included a large circular colonnade at the centre, with a further 49 shops or stalls, a slaughterhouse and 18 houses surrounding it. At first it did not prove to be a popular venue, but it was helped when it became the site of a quarterly leather market. This is the site of the South Market today. The location is part of the new development around Air Park. The conversion of brownfield land into Air Park is set to create the largest new city centre green space in the UK. Meadow Lane is greener than it has been for probably 200 years. Until recently, the road was so busy it could support a petrol station. Now that petrol station is shrouded in boards and is likely to be soon demolished. Just off Meadow Lane and close by to the South Market once stood Noah's Ark Court, a group of dwellings around a cobbled yard. There were a number of similar yards and courts on Meadow Lane at one time which developed as the city grew but in an unplanned way. Noah's Ark Court was wider in the middle, narrowing at both ends, leading to speculation it may have got its name because of its boat-like shape. This photograph was taken around 1900. The picture is taken from the direction of Meadow Lane, looking through the court towards Hunslet Lane. The southern end of Meadow Lane was a heavily developed road lined with large premises. This photograph was taken in 1937 and shows the junction of Meadow Lane and Victoria Road, bordered by shops and two banks. On the right is Pemberton's Temperance Billiard Club, a further example of the temperance movement that existed in the area. It is still a busy junction today in terms of traffic, but the community of shops is long gone. 
The junction of Meadow Lane with Victoria Road now takes a much wider sweep than it did in the past, and the road runs over where some of the buildings were once located. This photograph provides an additional view of the junction, with Victoria Road heading off left towards Victoria Bridge and the Dark Arches. There is a branch of the Midland Bank, and next door is Shaw and Sons store, selling a variety of goods. There is drapery, clothing, linos, boots, gold and jewellery. Two public telephone boxes are next to the bank, and a Belisha beacon is on the curb. This flashed to warn of pedestrians crossing the road. Here is a view of the location today, with Shaw and Sons and the other shops all gone. Further along Meadow Lane, towards the junction with Great Wilson Street, there was once the Jacob's Well pub, on the very left edge of this picture. Then there was a furniture shop, a sweet shop, an electrical engineer's a butcher's shop and a chemist. These shops and services served the local community who lived in houses in streets and yards which ran off behind Meadow Lane in both directions. Once again there is little evidence of the buildings and yards which were once here although New Lane seen in the photograph is still in existence and can be spotted here. It is often only the street names that remind us of what came before. This elevated view, probably taken from the Tower of Christ Church in 1955, is looking north along Meadow Lane towards Leeds Bridge. In the foreground are the premises of printers Wild Blood and Ward and the Leeds City Clothing Club. On the left is the old George Public House and beyond there, you can see the Wesley Methodist Chapel. The view extends to Leeds Parish Church and Quarry Hill Flats in the distance. This view has changed dramatically since it was taken. Massive clearances of areas such as Meadow Lane in the 60s, 70s and 80s saw the demolition of thousands of homes, factories and mills. Standing on Meadow Lane and looking in the same direction, we can see how the area has changed. To the left is the road entrance to the head offices of Asda, accessible here, but actually with a Great Wilson Street address. Asda House was officially opened in 1988 by the then Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, and it takes up a prominent position on the corner. In some ways, the changes that are taking place on Meadow Lane reflect the changes across Leeds city centre. The northern section of Meadow Lane has been reduced in width. A new public space has been created. A new footbridge over the air has been introduced to improve pedestrian movement. Meadow Lane has a fresh new look. Access by car is restricted. The oldest remaining building on Meadow Lane is the Old Red Lion Pub. It is the only building of any considerable age and it has witnessed incredible changes since it was built over 200 years ago. Hopefully, it is witnessing the re-emergence of the area and a new positive phase for Meadow Lane. Time will tell, but there is certainly a welcoming feeling to the area now. If you have enjoyed this video, Please remember to press like, comment below and subscribe to see more videos like this. There are many more Leeds local history videos on the Geography Juice channel. Thank you for watching.